guys we're back with another video today we're going to be taking a look at photon fx reshade um, and what that is is it adds some uh, updated functionality to the graphic settings of fantasy star universe um, so it allows you to add like sma tone map vibrance gossam blur some really good stuff that's really going to change the look of fantasy star universe it's going to make it look like it's like it wasn't made in 2006 like even though it aged really well um, there's some creature comforts that I wish were there, and this sort of addresses that, and it really makes a difference. So I'm going to go ahead and hop in game, and we're going to take a look real quick at the differences we can expect out of this. Let me logged in really quick. But yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and link you down to the forum post over on the PSU Clementine official forums. Um, there is a download. It is a RAR file. There's no EXEs in it or anything like that. Um, but with any download, I always suggest that you do your research. Let me turn this down real quick. There we go. Sorry about that. Um, yeah, so as I was saying, with any download, I really do suggest that you do your research first. Um, before you download anything, like don't just blindly download something that someone tells you to download over the internet. It's never a good idea. Um, but I've checked it out personally. You know, I run Kaspersky antivirus. I scanned it and everything like that. I've looked through the files. Nothing, you know, stands out to me. So, but anyways, it really does make a big difference. So I really, I really do recommend it. And we're gonna go ahead and jump in. You may have already been able to tell right away if you've been playing Fantasy Star Universe for a while. But these aren't the actual like colors so as you can see right now my dude he looks pretty vibrant he looks pretty honestly it doesn't if you look at this right now and i ask you like when you think this game came out like i doubt most people would say 2006 because i mean it aged very well but let's go ahead and we're going to disable those effects so as you can see now like the colors just completely went dull um some of the lining and stuff kind of got jagged especially down here you can see some more jagged edges even on the clothing even in the you know the foliage the just the just preciseness of everything just got a little bit more jagged and that's where alien anti-aliasing comes in which i think is one of the most important settings like you can disable everything else except for the aa and still get a much better experience um, but i'll go ahead and turn it back on just for the contrasting difference and there we go so you see even at the bottom like it's like it looks more like tears and not just like you know jagged rips and then as we can come over here you know you see more smoother lines you don't see as much jaggedness now the colors are just a world of difference the sun even looks brighter like you can see it there and then like in the sky the clouds just everything just really contrasts well with the background in my opinion and that's what you can expect to be gaining out of these controls so i'm going to go ahead and uh, let's jump over back to the desktop go ahead and cool it out of this real quick and then i'll show you how to go ahead and set it up and then also some settings that you may want to change um, just to make it a little bit better because when you first enable it, you're going to have like um, a really weird lens flare. You're going to have like some lens dirt or something on the screen. and It's noticeable, so I really don't recommend it. Um, but what you're going to do, so you're going to get this. It's going to be a RAR file. Um, so you would need an archiving tool, either 7-Zip or WinRAR, uh, to go ahead and extract it. I'll link to one of those uh, down below. And then, so once you extract it, this is what you're going to get. You're going to get this Photon Reshade folder, and it's going to have these files in it. It's going to have a patch if you want to run the game at 1080, and it's also going to have a patch if you want to run the game at 1440p. Um, I say use those kind of with a grain of salt. Like the, uh, when you do go to a higher resolution, it does break your minimap. Um, so if you are new to Fantasy Star Universe, I would suggest that you don't take advantage of this um, just because the minimap can be very useful in missions that you haven't played. Um, but if you, you know, you're a PSU veteran, you know missions by the back of your hand and you just want a higher resolution to view things at, then for sure, 100% I would recommend those. <clears throat> Excuse me, I have a cold. <clears throat> I've been sick for a little bit now. Um, but if we come to the, the third folder, we have... Uh, the custom grid mode. So if you use Steam and you use the big picture mode, this just is a nice icon for you to use. So it looks a little bit better, a little bit more up to date. 
And then the final one is the one that we're going to be looking at today. So this is the actual folder that's going to house all the files that you need to copy over into your PSU Clementine folder. And this is going to be what actually you know, hooks into the game and changes all those settings for you. And then you can tweak those settings with these files right here. So common, custom, you know, gem, everything like that. In your PSU Clementine folder, it should be located if you didn't, you know, change the install pass when you installed it, it should be on your main drive. So C, for most people, it'll be your C drive. And then under program files, x86. And then under, and then it's in a folder called PSU Clementine. So once you get to this folder, then you can go ahead and just copy everything from this folder over. So you would take these, you take this folder and these two files and just copy directly over to here. As you can see, I have my reshade folder. I have my, my DLL right there. So let's go ahead and actually take a look at some of the things we can change. So what we can do is we can just open these up. So when you first get these, they're CFG files or config files. So it won't default to this. It's going to ask you, it's going to pop up something like this. If you have Windows 10, how do you want to open this file? You can just choose Notepad to edit CFG files with, and it just it's plain text, so it's really easy. Um, and then you're going to go here, and it's going to it's going to tell you how these work. It says set to one for on or zero for off, and then you can just kind of read through them and see you know kind of what's going on and there's a little description next to it you know so this is probably not one of the best ones uh for graphic settings this is just like common settings so let's look at something good i want to say gem effects is a good one okay here we go so here you can you can do motion blur you can do ambient light which i recommend bloom is a good one lens dirt do i have lens dirt on i don't want this one for on zero for off yeah i don't want that so i'm actually going to set that to off oh you know why because this is the this is not the one that i copied over to mine this is just that one so yeah i would say turn lens dirt off it's really not <laughs> it's not great trust me and then even this like lens flare like that i would turn that off as well because it just it's kind of distracting like you're like you'll be in a building and then all of a sudden like there's a lens flare like their sun is like right next to you and i'm just like nope not there so just turn that off lens dirt i don't recommend and then once you're done making those changes you know you swap them over to a zero you just come up here save the file and then you'd have to relaunch fantasy star universe to get it to show up like without those changes so very simple to do i mean you can read through all of these settings files and you know fish eye a lot of people don't like that fish eye look um, I think I have that one turned off as well. It kind of makes you focus on the center a little bit. It's hard to explain what a fish eye looks like, but you'll you'll probably notice it right away. And I would I would honestly say disable it. It's not one of the better ones to have on. Uh, HDR mode is good. That's what's gonna let you get those nice vibrant colors. So I would leave that. Uh, sweet effects. Anything in here? Okay, so this is just like kind of fun stuff use pixel art <laughs> use ascii <laughs> that would be hilarious converts the image to ascii art i don't know if you know what ascii art it's like where you use text to make an image use nostalgia when you play the game you always play the first system of yours you don't well here is a reminder <laughs> okay so i mean they have some fun stuff in this as well that you can play around with um, which if you're bored, I mean, I say go for it, just try it out. It's really, this is really one of those things where, you know, you have maybe 30 or so minutes on your hands to really just dig into this and customize it to your liking. But once you find that sweet spot, like it, it just, it makes a huge difference. Um, but yeah, I mean, that's pretty much all you really need to do. I mean, you just copy those folders over, um, you change a few config settings files, and then like you're off and running. And then when you launch, here, let me launch this real, uh, real quick again. When you launch Fantasy Star Universe, the way that you know it's working is you're going to get these messages up here. It's going to be like um, reshade something, or rather, here we go, reshade, cross ire, visit. So that's how you know that you're running it and it's running correctly but yeah so um i actually want to give another shout out to you guys because you guys have been watching my videos like crazy i think i'm up to almost 200 views on one of my videos and like there's another video like right behind it that i'm you know it's pretty much staying neck and neck so if you watch one video you pretty much watch that other video i don't know why it's just those two but i mean all my other videos are getting a lot of views too as well don't get me wrong but just for some of those two just always stay close together but uh 
yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm loving the support, guys. Um, I, but my next mini goal that I have for myself is to get to 100 subscribers. So if you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and like and subscribe the video. You know, it really does help me out. Like, I, I can't. I can't be imperative enough how much it helps me out when you guys go ahead and subscribe and you know and like my videos because it lets me know what you guys want to see and then leave some comments like if you guys have ideas for any guides or anything that you guys want me to do let me know like i'm always i'm always looking for more video ideas but just want to give that quick shout out thanks guys i'll see you next time peace